Are people becoming obsolete? A giant electronic brain has started cogitating at the University of Pennsylvania. It's made of vacuum tubes like your radio, and it can add up a column of figures a yard long in a second. It's the world's first electronic computer. This is really the iPhone moment of AI. It is going to impact every employee of every company. One way of thinking about the evolution of this industry is to ask oneself, what is a data center five years from now going to look like? It all starts with the most valuable asset every customer has is their data. So how is that data kept and how is it made accessible? The other trend is really the shift towards accelerated computing that allows you to do a lot more computation on the same amount of power and the same amount of data center space. And that's the foundation of the work that NVIDIA and Vast did together to make sure that we have really fast storage that can accompany accelerated computing from NVIDIA. Were you recording all that? Yes. Take one, AV cam, Mark. My name is Manuvir Das. I'm the Vice President of Enterprise Computing at NVIDIA. Our whole mission and agenda is accelerated computing. If you think about the evolution of computing, it's been interesting the phases it's gone through. Back in the 2000s, there was a realization that the workloads require more and more data. And so we moved into a model of data-centric computing. And then we had the advent of the cloud. It was this great place to find compute, but the storage buffers were basically empty, where people started filling up those storage repositories in the cloud. So we actually went back to a model where we were bringing data to the compute again. And I think now we've come full circle where there's enough data in these locations in the clouds that we can think about bringing compute to the data again. As we now see AI proliferate to enterprise companies, there's much more of an expectation for this platform to be enterprise grade. Of course, you need the right compute, you need the networking, you need the storage, but really you need the right software stack that is actually optimized hand in hand with the hardware. It's all about the data, and it's about bringing the right compute platform to the data. The team at Vast had a beautiful architecture that can bring these two things together. The thing about AI is it's important to generate a lot of structured data that goes hand in hand with the unstructured data. And so in that regard, I think the work on the Vast database really goes a long way. Many of the customers we work with do their AI work in multiple locations. And so I think it's very important to have this sort of hybrid view where as the AI work is being done, the data can be accessed from different locations. The data space work that comes with the Vast platform is a real enabler. We have a great partnership with Vast. I remember talking to Renan a few years ago where he drew me this picture of the storage that he wanted to build. I've watched that happen over the last few years and see it go from a bold vision to something that has become very real. And when I talk to him now, I hear him talk about this next vision of building beyond into much more than a story solution. And I feel the same way. And we're looking forward to working with him and the team.